Farmers' unrest has taken over Europe, from France to neighboring Germany, Spain and Italy to countries as far as Greece are witnessing massive protests. The protesters aim to press governments to ease uh, environmental rules and shield them from rising costs and cheap imports. Farmers have gathered outside the EU Parliament in Brussels ahead of the EU summit. They were seen throwing eggs, uh, starting fires near the buildings and setting off firework. And police tried to disperse the protesters with water at the EU Parliament. Now, these protests across Europe are taking place ahead of the European Parliament elections scheduled for June this year. Farmers represent a growing constituency for the far right, which is expected to gain in the upcoming polls. Our correspondent Alex Cadia sent us this report from Brussels for the very latest. Well, on the sidelines, it has certainly been discussed. And actually, the Belgian Prime Minister, Alexander de Croo, when he came out to speak to the press this morning, we heard him address this very clearly, saying that these, uh, these uh, uh, issues expressed by the farmers uh, have to be heard. The European Parliament President, Roberta Metzola, also at the meeting, saying the message to European farmers is that we hear you. You can probably see behind me, uh, they've lit some bonfires just a few moments ago, about uh, just over my shoulder. Protesters were throwing bricks at police. This got quite heated, quite tense. The message from the farmers is that their production costs are through the roof, but the price at which they sell their products is through the floor. And so they are not going to be financially viable for long. And that is one of the key issues being expressed by these farmers, saying that they want to continue, but without farmers, the European Union will not have food. That is the message. Now, the counter argument or one of the things that uh, some of the leaders are saying is that actually European farmers are some of the most subsidized in the world. About 20 percent of the EU's budget goes to direct subsidies for farmer across the European Union. But that hasn't stopped uh, these particular farmers uh, coming here and having their voices heard.